All right, we're going to show here how much teeth they're supposed to contact uh, within the piston and the uh, sector gear. So uh, here's our shell right here. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of uh, centering everything. You see right there, uh, contact is a uh, Pretty much in between the the teeth is pretty tight. Let's go ahead and put this back on there. It's hard to see. Now this is the same brand as the same gear and the same uh, model. So uh, comparing with the Lonex Blue piston, we're at the middle at a middle position. And if we zoom in here, there's the tiniest gap uh, between there. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit further. You can see uh, there's a very, very tiny gap in here. So, I mean, you've got a lot of contact. Let's take this out and put in a regular gear that would go in this setup with the regular piston. Okay, so here we turn this around. It's here and it spins and I'll do about right there because I'm trying to keep the piston uh, straight. Okay, so here we go, we we'll close it up and we open it. Try to open it so that stuff doesn't move. And again, looking at the contact, uh, there is the tiniest bit of gap. So if you were to put this on right here, see it just has no problem so um, you can see if I was to hold it pretty straight that's about where it is See a little bit of gap in between there. All right, so let's try another piston. This one really wants to try to rub up against the sector. All right, so we get this through here. Let's continue a little bit. Let's close her up. I'm already seeing a problem here. Yeah, this. There we go. It just wasn't closing right. Maybe because the uh, teeth are too far down, so it can't actually close right. Let's try this again. Right, so put it there, rotate it a little bit. And uh, try to close it again. This piston is not going to go in. You can already tell. The gearbox does not want to shut. Um, so let's see why it doesn't want to shut. Let's open this up here. And uh, from the looks of it, from the looks of it, it looks like the teeth right here are going too much into the end of the piston. You can kind of see that. Um, if they touch the in between the teeth, if they if they touch within between right here, let's get down further. If they touch in between here. Uh, in between the teeth right on it's not going to shut um, so we can kind of see that here so this is definitely having uh, some struggling yeah I can see this would be centered it looks like it will work but then if we 
again once you close it it's not going to it's just a tad bit too close see the back here is like almost closing but it won't it won't shut even if you even if you do this that means that it's incompatible so um, you can see here the teeth are just meshed up uh, keep trying to find the center point teeth are just meshed up against it too tight it needs to be up like that so uh, just a little bit so this piston wouldn't work in this setup all right so let's try a garter put a garter down here and if we zoom up here uh, you know, we can see there is a tiny gap it's almost touching the tip top of the, in between the teeth so we put this down get very light resistance very light there is a little bit but very light uh, this is probably really good teeth contact yeah see it goes all the way back So uh, this is really good uh, teeth contact. So go ahead and open this. And we can see um, it almost touches in between the teeth, but uh, it doesn't touch the uh, piston in between the teeth. It just touches the teeth. So uh, that's pretty good contact right there. Okay, let's try this piston. This piston has been incompatible with this Gear, with this gear uh, twice. So we're going to have to close this up. It hasn't been used on this gearbox shell, so uh, it'll probably be different. And this one does get harder to push towards the back. Let's lift it up and see why. If we can lift up, Jesus. Uh, yeah, for some reason, towards once it once it gets towards the back, it looks like it, the, the gear is jamming up against the teeth. Um, what we're gonna try is to see if it goes without the gear. No problem. Uh, it goes without the gear, but it's got some resistance on it for sure. So. Um, it'll still go. It'll still go. So, the uh, question is, what is different as we get towards the back here? And, uh, seems to get hard about right here in this area. Seems like it. So, we've got the piston going through here. So maybe it's touching the top of this somehow. Um, or it could just be somehow within this right here. So to make this piston a little bit more compatible and easy to go through, you probably would grind this area down a little bit just towards the back because it started to get more resistance as you got towards the back. Um, okay, so we got it here. Let's go ahead and reinstall the gear again. Right, so we've got the gear in here. Got the piston. And we're gonna go ahead and put it here. So um yeah, what I can tell is it's rubbing in between the teeth. So it's getting up in the, the crevices and touching the piston when it's not supposed to. This is probably why uh, the piston was incompatible. See, it doesn't feel too much resistance. Ouch. Now it feels resistance as you get towards the back because it gets it gets stuck for some reason back here. A little bit more stuck. But uh, right here, there's, no, uh, there's not really that much of resistance as you go through. Um, but you can definitely feel some resistance, so that must mean that the uh, teeth, kind of like the uh, garter piston, are a little too close uh, in here. So you can see that it, it's still a little too close to even the sector gear.
or you know, rubbing up against it. That was the same for that was the same for this piston, the aluminum from GMP. The teeth would get so close to the sector, and you can see that's just way too close. Um, so, to basically state uh, what works best in here between these two was uh, the blue Lonex was really good, and the regular G and G uh, piston that was previously in here. So, we'll put the piston back in, show again. Just one more final time. Flip this around here, and you can just see the, uh, the teeth. This is about straight. The teeth almost touch the uh, crevices, the crevices in between here on the uh, piston. Like if there's a crevice in here, it almost touches it. Uh, so it doesn't, but it almost does. Uh, so if we were to close that up, it would be pretty close to, to touching. I put this down and in here we slide this and again same thing it looks like it's almost uh, touching in between the crevices now when we get to the metal right here it's a little difficulty for the gear has to kind of push through to get to through it okay so um, right here we can see it's almost uh, touching between the crevice but it's not it's like almost. So this is a really good uh, teeth contact right here. Nice and smooth. Uh, watch, we'll close the gearbox up. And see, it closes down very easily. Um, it's nice and smooth right here. You see that? And lift it up. So. Um, if you can see a tiny gap and it's not touching the uh, piston, then you're doing good. That's what it should be. So if I was going to measure that, that is definitely not one millimeter. Um, but here's an here's an example maybe of what it shouldn't look like. So you get your gear here. Let's see if I get that to stand. All right, and then we've got our piston coming in, right? I don't think we can get the piston stand. This would be really bad contact right here. Okay. Kind of to show. That would be really bad contact. Uh, this this would just be no contact. And then uh, some bad contact. And then this would be good contact. And then this would be too good. Or would be uh, resistance. So it would be bad. It's right on it. Okay, so it needs to be just a tiny bit off. And that's where it should be. Alright, that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys later.